let's get going on this video. Now, the perfect storm is brewing for a lot of us folks. This isn't all about like food shortages, supply chain issues, and all this other kind of stuff that's taking place. They're really creating a monster of a storm. There's things that are dropping rapidly around us right now. Um, we also have to take in consideration the date of May 9th. Now, I have to be very careful on what I say and everything else here on YouTube. So bear with me and try to read between the lines of what I'm saying, folks. Okay. I'm just going to tell you that in advance. There's a lot of things that are going on across the pond. There's a lot of uh, um, things that are being threatened from across the pond. The, the little man over there basically put out a warning on for May 9th. Now, a lot of people are reading into this. They don't know what's going to take place. He's threatening to drop bird poop on us, if you get what I'm saying, okay? I have to be careful here, folks, because the almighty YouTube will shut me down. What we have to really realize is, is this is one of the main reasons why we have to be ready. First off is we don't know what this little person across the pond is willing to do. Secondly, we have noticed that his um, safety guard, his type of military and equipment just doesn't seem to be up to par to where supposedly it was. We do know that he has a lot of bird poop. Okay. I'm going to use that just for a little fun here. He has quite a few of those all lined up supposedly now is he willing to use his bird poop i don't think he is but we don't know we don't know where this is going we have to sit back and wonder exactly what is taking place all around the world we know we have food shortages and maybe you don't in your area and if you don't that's a great thing but we all know that the food prices and the prices of everything has gone through the roof. We also do know the stock market just finished a month that it hasn't had this bad a month in like 14 years. Okay. Now you're turning around and all these top executives, all these top people are talking about recession. And what happens in a recession? What happens is businesses start closing and then they turn around and that means people are out of work. People don't have jobs. On top of the inflation that is taking place, that carton of eggs is costing you two, three dollars more a carton or more depending on where you live. That gas is turning around and it's costing costing you even more some for some people it's very difficult to even put gas in a car to get to work because they're not making enough money then you turn around and you have what is the diesel price now last night on my way home the diesel price was 527 a gallon here in florida now i don't know what it is in your state but it's just going up and up and up. And that's a very critical number we all have to pay attention to. I'm telling you folks, a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, you know, that you, you don't have to, you know, the truckers won't stop running and everything else. It'll come to a point. If you take out of the amount of truckers in this country, if you take the independent truck driver out of the equation, we're hurting. We're hurting bad. We're so worried about climate change. We're at a point. We're not ready to go to all electric vehicles. Okay, folks? We're just not. Trucks aren't ready to go to all electric. 
Some trucks are like the company I work for. We do have natural gas. Most of them are gas. They are trying to do away with diesel. But that takes a lot of undertaking given the situation that we're in. Point being here is the prices will go up the higher that diesel price goes. All these companies are going to start putting surcharges on all these type of goods and services, and we're the ones that are going to be paying for it. We have our federal government. We have Biden in the White House. Is this all part of their great reset? One should ask, right? I mean, we still can ask questions, right? We live in America. We're allowed to ask questions. We're supposed to have free speech, but that's going by the wayside because we're losing our free speech. We're losing our free speech out here, folks. And we're not allowed to say what we want to say. Now, we have to really sit back and wonder, why is it we have to tell everything that we're doing? Why is it that we have to turn around and everything that we're doing with what's taking place across the pond has to be nationally known, has to be put into the media. Now, they tell us all that crap, but they don't tell us about everything else. They don't, nobody's talking about all the ships that are still setting off the coast, either on the West Coast, the Gulf, or the East Coast. Nobody's telling us about everything that's not coming over here anymore because in, over in China, everything is still shut down. They got everybody locked down tighter than... Well, what I'd like to say, I won't say, but you get my point, okay? I mean, these people, they can't go to work. They're, they're bringing food to them. A lot of these, some of these people are committing suicide. Um, you know, I mean, it, it, it goes to show you what you get when you have a communist party ruling your country. They have no rights. They have to do what they're told to do. They're not even allowed to own a gun in China. Did you know that, folks? They can't defend themselves. The only ones that are allowed to own weapons is the military and the police. That's it. The standard person that lives in China cannot own a firearm. Pretty sad. So we really have to thank God for what we have here. We have to really be thankful for what we do have still. We have to fight for everything that we have nowadays because there's so many people that want to change everything. You have that change.org. Well, they think they're changing everything for the good. And I'm sorry, it's just a useless. There's a lot of things that a lot of us don't agree with. We're not happy that it happened in the past. We weren't even here, okay? We're not happy. We're not proud of it. We're not anything else. But it's what's made this country great is where we came from and where we are now. Men and women have died for that flag that's hanging on that wall back there. And that's an American-made flag. I had somebody comment, oh, your flag is made in China. That is an American-made flag. I made sure of it. I didn't care what it cost. That's an American-made flag. People, you have to realize the importance of the coming next couple of weeks. It's either going to get real nasty real quick, or it's going to be a lot of smoke and mirrors from the little guy across the pond. What are we going to end up with? I can't tell you that. That's the problem. That's why you need to be prepared. It is so vitally important for what is taking place right now with everything that is going on and everything else that you people out there have to be ready. You have to make sure that you are securing your own future. I can sit here and I can tell you what to do. I can tell you how to do it. I can do all these kind of things, but I can't physically make you do it. You have to do it. You have to take the bull by the horns and you have to be the one that wants to do this and wants to be prepared because we don't know what is coming down the pike. We have no idea. 
And the only way that we can have any security for ourselves and our families is to be prepared. And trust me, this thing in China is going to catch up with us, folks. Just remember one thing. King cans, well, we import a lot of them from China. Because once again, I don't know why, but we can't make a lot of stuff here. We just can't do it anymore. Is somebody shutting us up? Are, are they wanting to control us and, and take all that away? Is that the point? One has to ask themselves. Rumor has it. The little man's got something up his sleeve. And is it going to get us into WW3? I sure hope not. It's the last thing that I want. And I don't think anybody on this channel, I don't think anybody out here in America wants that. Nobody does. It's the last thing we want. But what is it the government wants? One has to ask themselves this because for some reason, their mouths just keep running about everything we're doing, everything we're supplying, and everything else. So I'm just telling you, and I'm warning you all, keep your guard up and do not, do not differ from your prepping. Even if it's costing you more money, make sure you're putting away whatever you possibly can per week to make sure that everything for you and your family is secure for as long as possible.